Okay, so let's get into this. Let's talk about setup for a second. We're going to talk about how you can put your body in the right position for you to be able to move the most efficiently. So the first thing that I want to talk about is your foot position. What we want to do is get our feet in a position where roughly our heels are under our hips. We could go a little wider for a a driver or an uneven lie, but the majority of our shots, we want our heels underneath our hips. Okay, if we do that, then our hips are gonna rotate the fastest. That's what we're looking for. So first step is get the stance the correct width so that you can work on rotating your body and turning your body through the shot. Okay, the next thing that we I wanna talk about is your foot flare. So the thing with foot flare is if I let my leg just hang and dangle, it's gonna dangle at a certain amount of flare. That's likely the amount of flare that I want to have. Flare just being the angle that your foot is when you set up. Now, it's really good to note that there's a lot of things you can do with foot flare to adjust what's going on in your swing. So, for example, if I wanna turn less on my backswing, I can angle my foot this way, and I will have less of a turn in my backswing. If I wanna turn more in my backswing, I can angle my foot this way and I can turn more in the backswing. The thing is that when it comes to foot flare, experimenting is helpful. You can't just go by a book. You've got to experiment with different foot flares to find out what's going to work out best for you. Uh, Obviously, working with a coach, helping you work through that is going to help. It's going to make things a lot faster for you, but you can experiment. So try hitting some shots with the hip width apart stance try hitting them with a big foot flare and then with a little foot flare see if you can find a difference what feels better what's helping your body move better okay that's really critical now the next thing is I'm gonna hit a couple of shots for you here the next thing in the setup is if we can get our feet and our hips set up properly is to try to find our most natural athletic setup Similar to if we're playing any other sport, picture you're playing baseball or tennis and you're waiting to receive a ball. So I'm going to get into this natural athletic setup right here. That's what it feels like. Then what you need to do is get a picture or video of what that looks like and maybe tweak it a little bit to improve. So when I get feeling natural, sometimes I have too much knee flex and I'll get low to the ground like this. It's not really ideal. So by using video, I can find my correct natural athletic setup right here. That's what it feels like. Now, when I'm in my setup, I want to practice moving around a little bit. See, in setup, balance is key. So essentially, our setup is going to dictate how well we stay in posture when we turn, and it's going to dictate where our balance goes. And that's why it's so critical that you use a pressure mat and see where is the pressure in your setup. Sometimes too much on the toes or the heels or left or right. So find out how to get it balanced, get in that natural athletic setup here. And then from here, you want to just take a backswing, take stock of where is your balance. Has my balance gone to the toes or to the heels? Okay. It's very critical that we are very stable toe to heel in our golf swing. So an exercise that you can do to get better at that is just simply put a club under the arches of your feet and then you want to feel like there's a bit of pressure right where your toe knuckles are. Getting that athletic setup. And you can see here, I found my balance point, rocking heels and rocking to the toes. Okay, that that feels just right from here. I can make a balance move back and through quite easily. Okay, so the final thing that I want you to think about with setup is how your body is aligned. If you watch how I'm standing here, just naturally my hips, shoulders, knees, all line up just fine in my natural stance. When we get into a golf stance, most people start twisting and contorting 
these lines. And so the simplest way to get nice and lined up with our different joints is starting here, standing straight up like this. My back, shoulders, everything is in neutral. And then I'm just gonna tilt forward and then try to make it athletic. That feels good right there. And we're off to the races. So make sure that you take stock of all of these different variables in your setup so that you can find what's going to allow you to move the best and the most efficiently. Okay, so the next thing that we need to talk about in setup is how you're aligning your joints by using your musculature. So what happens is our joints get pulled out of alignment because of strong or weak muscles or imbalanced muscles. And that makes it very difficult to get the best setup possible. So a couple of key points of what we wanna look at is, first of all, with our pelvis, okay? We can realign our pelvis. That's going to be something that we always work on with our physios. But what we can also do is notice the arch of our lower back. This versus this. So if I can flatten the lower back, what that does is it turns on the glutes and it shuts off the lower back muscles, which allows me to use my big muscles to move my body. So one of the things I wanna do is flatten the lower back, engage the core. The other thing I wanna be, be careful of is most golfers extend their arms out too far. And if you look at my back, my back is collapsing so I can pull my shoulders forward. What we need to do to get in the best possible setup, flat lower back, engage the core, bring the shoulders back and down so that here in my setup my shoulders are in a neutral position that allows us to make more of a body swing and less of an arm swing so an arm swinger is going to look a lot like this I'm sure you've all seen that and where i want you to be is shoulders back and getting into this type of a setup right here now I'm neutral, and now I'm good to make a good move. So pay attention to how your musculature is engaging, and that's going to affect how your joints are